The future is edging closer with every passing second, and as the time ticks away, it becomes clearer that the future is electric. Car manufacturers around the world are now moving beyond hybrid technology, and Volkswagen is no exception to the all-electric vehicle trend. Their new ID Buzz is an update to their iconic camper of the 60s, and finally has entered production. We'll be covering that in today's video. First up, the ID Icon Rebooted Volkswagen has always made amazing cars that you can easily pick out as being a product from the company. It isn't just recognizability that makes them so iconic, but also their reliability. That's what the TI Transporter boasted back in the day. However, the decades-old design is more than just recognizable. It's also a major part of American history. The TI was present for a major historical and social movement when the hippies of America sprouted up amidst a novel drug culture that was unbridled in its breath. If you saw the TI now, you'd instantly know that those cars traveled thousands of miles with a group of free-minded individuals packed in there with no care in the world. Not only did it see the rise of psychedelic culture, but it also cruised through the civil rights movement. For decades after its launch in the 50s, the TI has been a major part of the lives of Americans, as well as others around the globe. Now, after more than 50 years, years, the iconic design is making a return, with a few changes. The first is, of course, the name. The spiritual successor of this icon is named the ID Buzz. The second major change is the fact that it's an all-electric vehicle. The Buzz has now started production and is already available for order in Europe. Secondly, new car, old designs. In ensuring that this is indeed a successor to the TI, much of the design of this new all-electric vehicle has been a rework of the old exterior. One of the main parts of the TI was its zero overhang that pitted drivers right on top of the front axle. That iconic look needed to stay in some form. VW's head of design, Josef Kaban, spoke about the look in an interview. He said that they wanted to ensure they maintained that design choice, while at the same time providing greater safety and relevance to new technology. As a result, the new ID Buzz may not have a perfectly vertical front end, but it still boasts an amazingly short overhang. Next, specs and a modern interior. Apart from its exterior look, what's most important is what's under the hood and behind the doors. The ID Buzz, as it's available in Europe now, offers a 77 kilowatt hour battery and a rear mounted 150 kilowatt electric motor. If you're wondering about how long it would take to fully charge one of these, Volkswagen has already given an estimate. According to the company, if you charge the vehicle at a direct current quick charging station, you'll easily go up from about 5% charge to 80% in about 30 minutes. At full charge, you can expect about 432 kilometers of travel. Now onto the interior, which has pretty much all the bells and whistles you should expect from a modern EV. At the moment, the ID Buzz is designed specifically for around five people to be seated comfortably. It's designed designed as an open space, almost like a lounge, which makes it more like a minivan rather than what you'd call a microbus. Volkswagen themselves have said that they want customers to think of it like a digital living room or a mobile home office. The interior offers optional features like folding tables on the front seat backrest to be used as a small desk for laptops and tablets, and it also boasts up to eight USB ports. Speaking of the seats, there is no leather used in the interior of the car. In fact, there is no material that is of animal origin present, and quite a bit of it is also recycled material. Finally, Volkswagen wants customers to feel as comfortable as possible. Volkswagen has said that, as it wants customers to feel like it's a mobile home space, they wanted to use materials and technology that one might be accustomed to using at home. The Buzz will also be available in a cargo model, though that hasn't been launched yet. The model will boast three 3.9 cubic meters of cargo space and can have two to three front seats. We also need to talk about some of the tech that's on display in the car. The controls include a multifunctional steering wheel, touch display, as well as natural voice control for when your hands are a bit busy. The company also offers an optional setup of a 30 color adaptive interior ambient lighting system. Finally, the Buzz will also feature a travel assist system that operates using swarm data from 
other cars that are a part of its cloud navigation network. The feature will facilitate partially automated driving, which includes assisted lane changing on motorways. Other news. Firstly, new U.S. climate bill worries EV manufacturers. The U.S. Congress recently passed a climate and energy bill earlier in August. The bill was passed with two aims in mind. The first is to make electric vehicles more affordable, while the second is to phase China out of the supply chain in the country. Unfortunately, the bill proposed that EV manufacturers offer a $7,500 tax reduction. Auto industry leaders have lamented this, saying that the proposition comes with so many strings attached that most cars won't even qualify. The main grievances here are that the buyers can't be too high up in the tax brackets, vehicles can't cost too much, and the cars that do must meet made in America requirements. The last of those is particularly difficult for manufacturers to meet simply because they don't have the resources. The bill, known as the Inflation Reduction Act, benefits some manufacturers more than others. These include companies like Tesla and General Motors that have already reorganized their supply chain to produce the vehicles and necessary components within the U.S. To their further benefit, these companies once again gain their incentives after losing them after surpassing the market cap of 200000 This new bill eliminates the cap that has kept them from taking advantage of tax reductions. For companies like Toyota and Stellantis, though, which have not started making or selling a large number of EVs in the U.S., things might be a little rougher. The fact that these companies don't have the infrastructure in place within the country necessarily means that production of the vehicles would be more expensive. That would make the vehicles themselves more expensive, therefore making them ineligible to take advantage of the tax write-off. Next, Faraday Future to raise $600 million. Early in August, electric vehicle manufacturer Faraday Future Intelligent Electric Incorporated announced that they were raising $600 million in funding. This comes in just after the announcement that they would be launching their FF91 luxury car later this year. As part of a new financing facility, the company will be awarded an initial $52 million of committed funds, capital that is much needed for the company in these turbulent times. Faraday Future is just one of many startups that had promised to disrupt the industry with designs that were technology heavy. But as the current political and economic climate stands, the price of commodities is rising beyond their capabilities. It's left many scrambling to secure fresh lines of funding in order to meet their deadlines. Faraday has it better than most. As its chief executive officer, Karsten Breitfeld, stated that the FF91 was already nearing completion and was being tested. The company started to look for near-term funding to try and get the FF91 out of the gate as soon as possible. The goal is to push it out onto the streets by the third or fourth quarter of this year. One of the major reasons that Faraday is struggling at the moment is that it's one of many startups that went public through the route of blank check mergers. It's a market that has begun to slow, especially during this year because of regulatory scrutiny and the poor market share performance of the majority of companies that are listed. Lastly, 5-minute EV recharge could come soon. At the moment, the primary issue with adopting EV tech is how poorly it does in comparison to the range of vehicles powered by an internal combustion engine. Current EVs take about 40 minutes to charge up to 80%. That's considerably more than the few minutes it takes to fill up a tank of gas. However, startups in Israel, like Exion, are joining the effort of developing rapid charge energy storage technologies. Exion in particular has patented technology called Energize and Go. This tech uses next generation carbon electrodes in its batteries, which it claims are 100 times faster to charge than the current industry standard lithium ion batteries. It's also reported that these batteries keep working for up to 30,000 recharge cycles, which is orders of magnitude greater than the 500 or so cycles that lithium batteries last. What's even better is that eliminating lithium from the equation makes battery production more eco-friendly. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the ID Buzz will be as iconic as the TI? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.